was ready to shoot and Drona asked him, what do you see? He just said, I see only one dot. And he reaction after watching this video. It honestly reminds me of something that my coach said. Are you ready for the video? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Conscious practice. What's conscious? This is Vish and Piper. And today we'll be responding to Sudgur's video on the mechanics of success and victory. My name is V. I'm an aspiring yogi, level things meditation, yoga, and wisdom based. Super grateful to have Piper here on the show. Want to uh, introduce yourself? Hi, my name is Piper. I'm a freshman at UT Austin, Hookham, and I'm a health and society pre med major who is actually top 30 in the United States uh, ranked player at squash. Amazing. It's top 30, huh? Yeah. That's cool. Have you heard of a guy named Sudguru before? Not to my knowledge, no. Why do you love sports? Because it allows you to relieve all your stress and just make you feel like you can do anything. Love that. And with that, let's get into the video. modern world is always goal-oriented in the sense we want to win the game. Whether it's life or game, they're only thinking about winning. I feel that's a big mistake. If you… you… people don't win a game because they want to win a game. Who doesn't want to win? Everybody wants to win. People win a game because they play well, isn't it? Any team wins because they play well, not because they want to win. Who doesn't want to win? You know, we say in yoga, if you keep one eye on the goal, you have only one eye to find your way. That's not a good way to play a game. It's better both your eyes are on the game. The winning, the cup and the accolades are things which happen because we play a game well. It's not because we want them, it'll happen. Because we play well, it happens. So it's always best that we keep our eyes, our body, our mind, everything focused on just one thing. That is when a human being functions at his maximum efficiency. There's a beautiful uh, incident in our culture when Dronacharya is teaching Arjuna and a few other boys, archery, he asked one by one to look up at the tree and aim and shoot at the bird that was sitting there, a wooden bird that was kept up on the tree. And a small dot was marked on the neck of the bird and Dronacharya said, you must aim at that… at that particular dot and shoot. So when they just pulled the string and they're just about to shoot, he asked them to stop and ask, what do you see? So they said, we see the leaves, we see the tree, we see the fruit, we see the bird, we see so many things. Everybody said this. And when Arjuna's chance came, when he was ready to shoot and Drona asked him, what do you see? He just said, I see only one dot. And it is one who sees only one. When one's vision is totally one-pointed, that is when you get there. When everything in you gets organized in one direction, that is when the best results happen. That so you're playing a hockey game. It's not about winning, it's not about getting a cup back home, it's not about newspapers, it's not about fame. Your whole business is just to how to get the damn ball into the goal. Every moment of being there on the field, that's all, isn't it? As ten people on the field, just seeing how to get that ball every time in there. The idea is to get it there every moment. They won't let you get it there every moment, but the whole thing is to just get it there, get it there, get it there. If our mind is focused on how to win the cup, will we win the cup or not, will we win the match or not, I have seen 
whether it's football or cricket or uh, hockey or whatever, many matches are lost before the game is over. Somebody has scored three goals against you. So what, three goals can be scored in a minute? Oh, such miracles don't happen, it's not true. It can be done and it's happened sometimes, isn't it? So the business is not how much somebody has scored or not scored, whether you're going to win or not win. When you're playing a game, there's only just one goal, putting that ball into the goal, that's all. If we just stay this way, at least who we are, our talent will get fully expressed. What we are not, we cannot do. If we do not do what we are not capable of, it doesn't matter. But if we do not do what we are capable of, that's a tragic life, isn't it? Isn't it so? If one does not do what he is not capable of, it does not matter. But if one does not, does not do what he is capable of, that's a wasted life. And when our focus is not one-pointed, this wastage always will happen because we are thinking about something else. If everything is focused in one way, your body, your energy, your mind, everything is organized in just one direction. A person who is going in one direction will go somewhere. A person who is trying to go in five different directions will not go anywhere. So much time and energy and effort is wasted in trying to go in different directions. So if one can just keep this in his mind, there is nothing else to the game except putting the ball there. It is not about winning, it's not about the cup, it's not about anything, it's just about putting the ball into the goal, that's all. At least your talents will be fully expressed. If we are not good enough, we have to prepare more. If we are good enough, the results will come for us, that's all the game is about. But if our talent doesn't find full expression, that is a waste. That should not happen to us. So Piper, what are your first thoughts or reaction after watching this video? It honestly reminds me of something that my coach said. Um, he always used to talk about the art of losing and how it's not about just winning the game, not about just getting a trophy, but it's also about the lessons that you kind of learn behind that and to make sure that you are focused and learning from your mistakes in the match so you can improve for next time. Yeah, absolutely. I love that comparison of story you gave there and I definitely agree it's really all about focusing on the process as much as you can I mean I think definitely set that goal initially uh, like strategies or whatever that might be but ultimately I think uh, if you think too much about the end goal while you're playing in the process it's almost taking away right from that present moment that you have to give your all to the game um, can you relate that with let's say more of a practical experience I know you are, are you know, a top squash player, so <laughs> does it apply to your experience there? It absolutely does. What I would actually do, because when I was younger, unfortunately, I did get very angry and aggressive because I always was comparing myself to my older sister, who would always win so easily. So in order to focus myself on that one goal, I would actually write in a journal. Hmm. And I would write down all the things I wanted to do, all the things I wanted to do to win, but not only to win, but what I wanted to see in the future. And I think that that makes sure that you don't just go and feel like you're just losing, but like learning from your experience, which is what I think that he was mainly trying to focus on. Yeah, no, 100%. I love that uh, sort of way you take, uh, let's say, these losses. You said you reflect, you journal. I think that is a very powerful way to... Uh, express what is going on, right? And in, at least in a very healthy way. And I also love and connect with the journaling because it's like a solid way to see what is happening in your mind. Otherwise, we tend to have all this stuff just stuck and like bottled up. So when you write things, I think it really is a great way to see it, right? And like get a clarity of, of your thoughts. Now, I will say this, right? Which is that, by the way, I agree with you and I agree with what he was saying too, but I do feel like it's definitely a little easier said than done, right? To like just focus and not think about the goal while you're in it. Um, so any advice to people that are, let's say, in some comp competition or some something serious, Olympics, whatever, uh, what's your advice to them to really focus just on that process versus goal? I would say to make sure that you have mini goals along the way. Mm. Even like now. Checkpoints. When I'm just, exactly, checkpoints. Even now as I'm just in college and just doing the average day to day, like as I'm in finals, it's not about getting to the test, getting an A. It's about, okay, I want to review this topic today. I want to go and make sure that I'm doing the best that I can in this present moment and not worrying about too much in the future. That's especially relevant to me because I actually have ADHD, so I always overanalyze everything that I do. 
Okay, that's great advice there. I love that. Uh, very practical, actually. I would also agree in a setting, uh, you know, breaking it up. Because uh, if you have just one big goal and big vision, but you don't plan, that's also a little futile-ish because it's hard to track if you're making the right steps in the right direction. Uh, so I definitely agree with you there. And really just kind of the main thing I want to emphasize here is really, you know, set the goal, but then focus on the process. Because ultimately, even a single thought, and I'm not enlightened here, so I do get thoughts still too, but even a single thought that you, let's say, have worry or anxiousness is actually taking away technically from the energy that you can use to focus on the game, right? Or the ultimate whatever. So thank you so much, Piper, for being here. You share some amazing wisdom and perspectives here. Would love to hear what your views are. Yeah, it's you watching right now on what I've shared, what Piper shared, what Sadhguru shared. Open platform here, open discussion. Let us know in the comments down below. Also, if you have any other video topics or uh, guests or even just videos that you want me to see and react to, also comment down below. With that, make this a great day. Take it joyfully and stay conscious. You did great, thank you so much. Yeah, absolutely. Awesome.